Hello, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the top 10 best paid Cydia apps and how to get the paid Cydia apps for free. First I'll show you how to get them free. First you're going to have to open up Cydia. If you already know this, you could just skip ahead, but uh, for those of you who don't know how to get the paid city apps for free, then keep watching. Um, when it's loaded, go to Manage. And then go to Sources. And then I already added them, so... I won't be adding them again, but you will want to edit, add, and then this little thing will pop up. And first one, the most helpful one, you'll type in sinful iPhone. Oh, oops. Sinful iPhone repo. This always does this. So you're gonna go to Cydia, Manage, Sources, Edit, Add, then you're gonna type in sinful iPhone repo dot com forward slash and then hit add. And then when you're done with that, that's basically the m most helpful one that you'll need. That's how to get a lot of them free. But there's another one, Haculus and Excels, Excels or whatever. But just do sinfuliphonerepo.com forward slash for right now. And then when you're done with that, you can go to manage or search and type in whatever one you want. Like we'll do, we'll do shrink for right now. My iPad will stop lagging. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so then you just type in shrink and then um then you look for shrink cracked or whatever. And that'll be the sinful iPhone repo one. And then it'll be free instead of however much they ask you to pay. But, um, now to the top 10 best paid city apps. You can usually, actually, this one isn't paid. The top 10 best city apps, basically. Um, this one, the first one is Winterboard, which is probably the most famous one on Cydia. You just go to it. You can basically customize your whole entire iPod, select themes, like, select the keyboard, like what noise it's going to make, and then your lock screen, I, for the slider, I have a little baseball guy, and you slide him into the base, yeah, like that, so yeah, that's basically just to customize your whole entire iPod, next one, these aren't in any particular order either, um, Next one is Inspell, where you can add any any word that you usually type. Like I already added this word, but let's say let's say you spell what, like W H T, just to quicken it up. Um, you can do that, and then when you hit space, usually a red line will will pop up underneath the word, and then you just double tap the word, and then you and then up here it'll say cut copy paste it won't say replace it'll it'll say add to dot 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 and you click that and it adds your word to the dictionary so then it won't then it won't be spelled wrong next time you spell it and then the next one is installus 
to do is this is basically um all the apps in the app store like the regular iTunes app store you can get for free you just search it whatever one you want like let's say let's say zombies call of duty zombies all you do is search it and then cod zombies you search it and then when you find the one that you want whatever like there are plans for zombies here call of duty world at war zombies 2 call of duty zombies right here you just click it and then I never really got this part but you hit download and it says launch app store but it still costs money there I don't know why so what you do is you scroll down you find whichever one you want I like to use file ape because that's one that's the one that usually works for me so you go to file ape dot com and then this will pop up and you scroll in you can look at whichever one you want I think premium costs money pretty sure but I usually go with regular because who cares if you wait a little while but you hit regular or premium and then it'll download and then when it's done downloading you go to downloads then you click whichever one you want and then you click install and then it'll install it and it'll end up on one of your pages and then the next one is your tube you just download it off of Cydia and then you go to your regular YouTube and then you search a video and whatever video you want um like type in monkey let's say not jokey see I don't know why that just popped up but we'll go with jokey anyways you just click one that you want jokey smurf whatever here jokey smurf instead of watching it oops I accidentally watched it didn't mean to so instead of watching it you would you would just click this little arrow next to it and then you click download video and you either pick high quality high quality low quality or sometimes there's a 720 pixels but I usually pick low quality and then what you do is you go to your more then you go to downloads and all of the things that you've downloaded you can watch without um with without Wi-Fi so let's say I didn't have Wi-Fi right now I could just click one of these videos and watch them it's really cool okay and the next one is folder enhancer you can you you just go to your settings go to your settings and after you download folder enhancer you go to your settings you scroll down to you find folder enhancer where is it actually it says more icon folder after you download it but um you you can click it and you can pick how many are in a row like I have six right now and then when you go to your folder when you go to your folder it'll open it up and look there's that many in a row instead of only four I think the yeah four is the original one and that that makes you save room too that makes you save room you find one with a lot this one as you can see has more than twelve just twelve so it makes you save room and the next one is 3G unrestricted or unrestricted and then what you do is when you download it you can go to yeah unrestricted you can go to it and then you can pick the apps that you want and after you pick them if you don't have Wi-Fi you can go to them you can like click it and then that that'll make it work like Brothers in Arms 2, if I wanted to play online, 
um, and I didn't have Wi-Fi, I could just click it, and it'll make the the app think that it's running on Wi-Fi. And then the next one is Android Lock XT. And what that does is you can go to your settings and change the different the different ways you want it. But mine, I have it set for blade for blades, and these pop up. And then I can put a design in. Like I have mine that looks like an M for Michigan because Michigan's my college. Not my college, it's the college that I like. But yeah. It, and that's pretty much it for that. Um the next one is side delete, which is really helpful because it, it can help it you can delete Cydia downloaded apps, which you normally can't do. Let's say I want to delete boss paper. Uh, I can't delete that. Hold on. Let's say I want to delete. Oh my god. Spazzing out. Let's say I want to delete music download. You can just click X and then click delete. And but you normally can't do that because it's downloaded off of Cydia. And next one is fake operator. You download it, go to settings. I'm going to show you how to put this lock on your folders in a second, in your apps. It's actually my next one. Folder, uh, fake operator. Um, you just go to your settings after you download it, click it. And then you can enable the fake operator, then type in whatever you want. Like I have mine sent for Michigan. And then when you get out of settings, it'll change to whatever you set it as. Hold on, let it see. I have mine set for Michigan. Kind of. Can't see it. Whatever. You get the picture. Okay. And then the next one is folder lock. When you download it, you just go to your settings. Slow down. Go to folder lock. Enable it. Enter the password that you want it to be. And then you can pick what you want. Like, I only have the settings app for the folders and all for the folders and the settings app so you can do that and that's the only one that I really use cuz it doesn't really matter about the other two but you can also pick multitasking and then what you do is when you enable it I'm not sure if you have to reboot or not but when you enable it you click a folder and then the password that you typed in you have to type in up here And then you hit unlock, and then the folder should open. But yeah, it keeps all of your stuff private. If you have a family that's really nosy like mine, they want to see all your stuff. But it keeps it all private. But that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys later. Hope this helped. Um, I will probably be making more videos on things that you, on, on more apps or different things you can do with Cydia or with your iPod or, if, or iPhone. Leave a comment if you want to know anything about jailbreaking or iPods in general. Just leave a comment and I will answer that for you. But until I make my next video, bye.